Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Serafina. Uh, today we will be doing the April reading for Leo. It's a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone that's looking at the reading. I'm going to be doing an adapted Celtic cross for general reading, and as a bonus, I'm doing a love spread after that. For Leo for April. High Priestess. Four of Cups. Do you want to come out? Do you want to come out? Yes, no. Okay. Cross by the Ace of Pentacles. Apathy, disinterest, crossroads. This is telling me that Leo, uh, during the month of April, um, has arrived at a crossroad. Uh, they are. Uh, have an opportunity to make a choice to completely change their life completely like take another road The recent past tell me that this opportunity um, started revealing itself and Leo has been keeping one eye on it but not really acknowledging it until now that Leo has arrived at this crossroads. Like the opportunity to take an entirely different direction in life has been revealing itself. Direction in life for your life has been revealing itself. And now Leo has arrived at a crossroads where the choice has to be made. Has Leo already made the choice? Not necessarily. I mean, Leo, it is, it is a, it is a true crossroad where Leo can take. Leo can choose to they can change their mind about everything that they made their mind up before <laughs> that's awfully cryptic right <laughs> so let's break this down right now um Leo has been seeing a new way forward, a new way to live their life. What was showing up 
as an opportunity, a possibility in the past, the recent past, it has now reached a crossroads where Leo must make a decision because this possibility, opportunity has manifested itself in this possibility has manifested itself into an opportunity and has re reached a decision making point for Leo to completely remove many things from it's yeah it's like it's it's more than just taking a, a, a different um, path it's about I don't want to say transformation because it's it's not really about transformation it is about I don't know if it is taking another job leaving your job leaving a relationship conquering a, a fear real realizing that um, the kind of script that you wrote for yourself you don't have to write you don't have to write yourself you don't have to write the script of yourself in your life as that character anymore boom that's it so Leo has the opportunity to be a different Leo But why am I shuffling with the cards straight? This is how I'm shuffling. I'm sh so I never shuffle like this. And one revealed itself, which clearly is the hidden one. So let's turn it back over on the other side. And that, so this card is what is hidden from Leo. Okay, let's see what else we get. So Leo has the possibility to be a different Leo. It's not about life circumstances. This is can be Leo's conscious and willful choice. Temperance. Leo is afraid to reveal this aspect of themselves to um, certain people this they're afraid to reveal this aspect of themselves to different people they're afraid to reveal this um, new Leo so that's what's holding back the choice then because it's not really a choice then is it Leo you know you want to go this way you want to be this new Leo um, you want to rewrite the script but you're afraid to reveal yourself to the people around you because they have an expectation that this is what Leo is and you feel that they will force you back into that role because it's comfortable and expected for them. Essentially, Leo is allowing this expectations of other people to foreshadow Leo's opportunity to transform itself, its life. Um, Leo is letting other people make that decision 
for him or her. The Nine of Pentacles. What is hidden for a lot of luck and fortune is actually going to be coming with this new role that Leo wants to step into. A lot of luck, a lot of fortune, a lot of abundance. Because uh, it's a whole new life. You know, you change yourself, you change your life. You rewrite the script on who uh, you want to be and who you expect other people to how, I, how I, other people want to see you but how other people want to see you is how they're going to they're gonna choose to see you so is it that Leo is afraid that uh, to be the villain in some people's eyes or Leo is just accustomed to being the villain in some people's eyes and Leo wants tired of it and wants to have a new character and has the opportunity to be a new character but is being censured by the expectations um, that other people have of them but what Leo doesn't know is that there is an awful lot of satisfaction that is going to come from this new role that Leo wants to step into an awful lot of comfort is waiting for Leo at the end of this acceptance of this choice because I kind of feel like Leo really wants this but Leo is just letting the projections of other people's the projection of other people's view of them onto them dictate how Leo lives Leo's life. There, I said it. So Leo can choose to, I, I don't even want, think I want to shuffle, live in their truth and integrity. Leo can choose to live in their truth and integrity. To make Leo happy. Okay, I hope you like this reading, Leo and cross watchers. Um, you can stick around for my bonus reading, which is the last spread. Okay, Leo, welcome back. I went ahead and did your spread, um, mainly because sometimes it takes me a really long time to shuffle uh, when I'm doing the bonus spread. Um, sometimes the cards can take a really long time to jump out. So I went ahead and did your spread. Okay, so um, uh, let's. This is for. Uh, Leos that are in relationships and for Leos that, let me start with Leos in relationships and then we'll do the singles after okay it's the same energy for April I think for every couple uh, that I've read um, so far that they have this opportunity with the energy of April to redefine their relationship. And this is especially so for Leo because Leo uh, himself, uh, we know, is going through 
a choice of taking a new road. Now this is actually represented again here in the Two of Swords. Leo has the opportunity to choose the kind of partnership, to make a conscious choice, to choose to have the kind of partnership that they really want. The idea of partnership that they have locked within themselves deeply hidden and unexpressed you know that you know we all have this like uh, fantasy dream um, that we're expected to have um, that is programmed through movies and television um, and we express oh this is like my dream idea of being in love or having a relationship this is what my dream is um, but Leo's real dream has never been expressed about what kind of love partnership they want and I feel that it is really a partnership that Leo wants. Leo wants true partnership. Leo is such a strong forward energy that Leo has often takes the lead in relationships. And I think Leo is looking for more balance. Um, in their relationship. They want to be able to relax. They want to be able to have fun. They want to be able to play. And they love this aspect. Leo has a, a, um, a, a playful, jovial uh, energy. Um, and they're often so serious in their relationships. They want to be able to take a a more passive role at times. Julia needs to express that need, that desire, in order for it to be able to be manifested at all. They have to express it. Leo needs to find a way to communicate their needs in a less forceful manner. Getting that as well. They need to relax a little bit more. For my single Leos, that are anticipating doom, <laughs> that my single Leos that are anticipating doom and gloom and um, uh, emotional terrors and <laughs> And the anticipation of Leo needs to make sure that he's not putting himself into a position where it's going to create a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy.
sometimes people can present as emperors when they're really knights. Sometimes people can present themselves as knights when you unwrap they have hidden depths in them that they are an emperor in disguise. This is for um, a Leo who is single, who is would, would consider that would consider themselves a little bit older. I have to put it that way. Not that this Leo is, I'm not even going to say it. This is a Leo that is single, that would consider itself a little bit older, that is feeling a little battle worn in the area of love and relationships. has uh what's the word I, it's not a it's it's uh not i'm not gonna call it an opportunity because leo doesn't necessarily this leo doesn't necessarily see it as an opportunity it is a inkling of a possibility for a relationship with a very young emperor that Leo is looking at this and thinking what kind of relationship could I possibly have with this very young emperor And Leo is projecting there and Leo doesn't like to hear this word insecurities or I would say visions of themselves because this older single Leo doesn't like to see themselves as having any real and true insecurities because they're old and they've conquered quite a lot of life already but this single Leo may be projecting their views of life on this fresh young emperor that does not come from where you come from and Leo may be missing the Leo is missing the 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 the, the, the viewpoint of the reality Leo oh, I'm trying to be so politically correct because I don't want to offend anybody okay so Leo right you can't see the world through other people's eyes you are too stuck in the way that you see the world even though Leo likes to consider themselves to be flexible this young emperor does not come from where you come from and so therefore will not have the same eyes visions interpretations of things that you have therefore what you are seeing may not necessarily be what he is seeing and so, there is a real possibility that your interpretation of the reality of the situation is exactly that. A very far reality from young emperor's interpretation of reality. And because Leo is so stuck in their world view, uh, they are missing 
the opportunity to see the eyes through a younger person. This unrequited love here is a projection of both individuals. So let's get deep. Everybody talks about the fact that they want unconditional love. But they put conditions on that unconditional because unconditional love means that you have to love me no matter what. No matter my flaws, no matter my my bad sides, my shadow sides, what comes up, what happens between us. That's their interpretation of unconditional love. But what people miss is the real beauty of unconditional love is that it doesn't have to be on anything. It is undefined. So when you express un when you express unconditional love, meaning when you are living in a state of unconditional love, there is no unrequited love. Love doesn't have the opportunity to be unrequited. Love does not have the opportunity to be unavailable. Love does not have the opportunity to be on anything not anything unconditional love when you live in that vibration you cannot be unlovable you cannot be unworthy you cannot be not anything unconditional love is love with out boundaries without definition without limitation it is an expression of your beingness so if it is that you request to find unconditional love, then it will find you and you have the opportunity to love without putting any labels on it. And I think mothers know, come close to that more than I think that anybody else in a natural way because that baby that you, you, you just birthed, you put no expression on it you don't define it oh I love my baby because it's so cute um, because it smells so good because it's mine Expressing love is a very natural thing to do. 
it's natural for people to want to share themselves and life's hurts have conditioned us to feel that it's think that it is unsafe to not have conditions and not um, put rules on things and so in order to make ourselves safe we start adding more and more rules to the list more and more conditions to what is good and what is safe and what is good for you and um, then you change that list the name of that list from what is safe to this is what I desire because it's safe and then after a while you drop off the because it's safe and then you just convince yourself that this is what you desire and it is a fallacy on all counts you only want it because you think it's safe but it's not necessarily what your true desire is it's what you think you can have This month of April is an opportunity for everyone, every sign, to rewrite their scripts, their characters, their roles, choices, opportunities, roles. This is a theme that has been coming up for every sign that I have been reading for the month of April. So far, I only have one more sign left to do. And it just keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. What do you want? And every time I ask somebody that question, you know, I always hear, well, what can I get? <laughs> well, what do you want? And I answer the same time, the question back again. What do you want? Well, what can I get? Well, what do you want? Well, what can I get? Well, what do you want? What do you want, Leo? If you like this reading, please click like. Um, if you are not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you. So please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press the notification bell for so you'll be notified the next time I put up a video. Okay, my Leos? Until next month. Bye.